Hi everyone, welcome to Sutra Coder. This is Ravina, and uh, today I am going to solve lead code problem number 32. I actually selected this problem based on the poll that I did last week, uh, and the based on the words, uh, uh, they, you guys want me to solve string problems. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm I will keep referring back to that post if you wanna just you know if you haven't seen it you can go in and just vote on what which problems do you want me to solve or you can do that the same in the comments below and tell me uh, what kind of problems you would like uh, to see on my channel and i will solve them for you okay so let's start by reading the question uh, the question says that given a string containing just characters of opening parenthesis and closing parenthesis return the length of the longest valid well-formed parentheses substring okay so let's look at example one here in example one if you look at this uh we want to find out the length of the longest valid parentheses substring what does that mean is uh, we all have done math uh, in our school time so uh, we have to find out what is the valid uh, parentheses substring uh, so in this input s you see there there's a, there's an opening bracket okay now there's another opening bracket and then a closing bracket. Uh, so if you look at the string, you can uh, you know make out that this is a valid substring. And the length of that valid substring is two. And that is why the output here is two. Uh, let's try and see how we can solve this problem. Uh, let me go back to my notepad. Okay. So the example here, what I'm taking is I want to actually, let me, move this further okay uh i'm gonna take the example two which is closing 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 okay yeah so uh the first thing the that i want to do is uh, i want to have a left and right variable so that i can count how many opening brackets and closing brackets i have so let me do that i have a left initialized to zero I have a right parenthesis variable initialized to zero. The next thing I want to have is the maximum length variable. So I have my max length variable also initialized to zero. Uh, I'm going to start traversing through the whole string from left to right, count the number of, you know, uh, left and right parentheses. And at a point where you my left number of left parentheses equal to my number of right parentheses that's when i see that oh it's a valid string right it's a valid parenthesis so for example if you look at the if you look at let's look at the same one yeah if you look at this example uh if i at some points so this is uh, uh, this means that right is one left is one right is one left is one right is one right is one so uh, if you look at this substring, it says that opening brackets, number of opening brackets, which is two, is equal to number of closing brackets, which is two. That means that is a valid substring. And that condition we are going to use in our uh, for loop. When we see number of left uh, parentheses equal to number of right parentheses, we calculate the maximum length. Uh, and then we update the maximum length if we have not find a maximum length yet uh we have we will we also need a breaking condition here the breaking condition here would be so suppose if i have this example right uh i have a closing bracket so it starts with a closing bracket i have one opening bracket okay then i have another closing bracket so when my closing so is there a chance that uh this particular thing is a is ever going to be a valid substring because the, my number of closing packets are greater than my number of opening packets which means that i'm never going to find that opening bracket somewhere right it should come before the closing bracket so that means that if my right is greater than my left number of brackets i mean my left opening parentheses which means that this is not a valid condition that's the time when we will reset our right and left to zero Okay, let's see how we can, uh, I mean, let's see how to work through it. Uh, it will be helpful to learn it better with the example. First, my counter is here. Uh, I receive a closing bracket. 
which is the right which is right for us so i will update that to one i then go to uh, then i check if my left is equal to right is my left equal to right no it is not okay my next condition to check is are my number of right brackets greater than my number of left brackets yes my right brackets are greater than number of left brackets that's when i will re reset my left and right to zero since my left was already zero i'm going to keep it that way and my right will again be reset to zero okay moving on to the next element i i go to the next element which is another opening bracket when i receive that i have opening bracket so i'm gonna update my left to one is my left equal to right no is my right greater than left no okay let's move on so i move on to the next next element in the string i receive one closing bracket i update my right with plus one so zero plus one is one now i check if my left is equal to right yes my left is equal to right i have left one and right equal to one i will calculate the maximum length now my maximum length will would be maximum of the maximum length or my uh you can say left plus right or you can just say right into two or left into two so i would say maximum of zero and my left plus right the maximum of zero and two is two so i'm gonna update my max length here okay moving on i encounter again an opening bracket i will update my left to two with plus one is my left equal to right uh no is my right greater than left no okay move on i go to the next string uh, so the next element i receive a closing bracket then i uh, update my right to two is my left equal to right yes it is then i calculate the maximum length my maximum length will be max of the existing maximum length or and my left plus right so maximum of two and my left plus right is four maximum of two and four is four okay sorry about this okay maximum of two and four is four so i update my maximum length to four moving on i again encounter a closing bracket since i encounter that i'm going to increment my right to three is my left equal to right no is my right a greater than left yes that's when i will update my left and right to zero this is first iteration now it can also happen that a, a sub substring is valid when you go from left to right uh, but sorry is not valid when you go left to right but there can be scenarios when it will be valid when you go from right to left um so some of the some uh, one case that i can think of is you know this so suppose i start with my uh, i start from my left i see okay i encountered an opening bracket i increment my left again opening bracket okay increment my left and then i receive a closing bracket then i increment my right at this point we don't have we don't actually come across those two conditions is my right equal to left or do i have more right brackets than my left brackets in this scenario we might miss our valid substring so that is why we are doing two passes one from left to right and the other pass from right to left let's see how we can do it from right to left for right to left we are going to do the same thing uh, oh sorry my max length would be four i'm going to retain that the only things i'm going to change is my left would be initialized to zero my right would be initialized to zero and let me delete this pointers as well okay i start from a rightmost element a rightmost element in the string i receive a closing bracket when i receive a closing bracket i increment my right to one i check if my left is equal to right no when i go from right to left does it make sense to check if my number of right brackets are greater than my left brackets uh no uh it would make sense to check if my number of left brackets are greater than my right brackets when i receive an opening bracket i will have my initially i will have my left and right initialized to zero when i receive an opening bracket i am going to update my left to one 
Now, if you look at this scenario, when you're, you're at the end of your string and you receive an opening bracket, that means that you ha your string has already ended and there's never going to be a, a closing bracket there. And that's why that scenario is invalid. That particular substring is going to be invalid no matter how left you go. So in this scenario, when you go from right to left, you have to make sure that your left uh, count never um, uh, is more than your right count. And that is really important to understand, you know, why you're changing, why you're checking for a particular condition when you're going from left to right, and why you're checking the other condition when you're going from right, right to left. So I hope this is clear. Uh, let's uh, move on with our example here. Uh, let's see. I already had my right as one. Uh, let me move on to my next element where I have my, I get another closing bracket. So I up, update my right to two. I check, is my left equal to right? No. Is my left greater than right? No. Move on. I receive an opening bracket. I update my left to one. Check. Is left greater than, uh, if, if, uh, is left equal to right? No. Is left greater than right? No. Move on. Get another closing bracket. Update this right to plus one, which is three. Uh, is my left equal to right? No. Is my left greater than right? No. Move on get another opening bracket we get two is my left equal to right no left greater than right no move on receive an uh, receive one more closing bracket update my right to four is my left equal to right no is my left greater than right no now we have done our iterations from we have traversed the string from left to right as well as from right to left and checked for our conditions that means that the maximum length that we have is this. Maximum length is 4. And so we are going to return this 4. Now let's see how we can solve this, how we can code this problem. Okay. So the first thing that we need is my left is equal to 0, my right equal to 0, and my max length, which is also initialized to 0. Now we want to go from left to right. So for every x in S, I am going to check if my x is an opening bracket. If it's an opening bracket, I would do left is equal to plus equal to 1. Else, it's a closing bracket. So, oh, typo. So I would do right plus equal to 1. When I increment my left and right, what do I check? I check if my left is equal to right. So if my left is equal to my right, if that's the case, then I calculate maximum length. So my max length would be max of max length or my left plus right. Uh, else, else if uh, my right is greater than left, that's when I will reset my left and right to zero. So my left and right will be initialized back to zero. This is the first loop when you go from left to right. Before starting the second loop, we have to make sure that our, le our left and right are initialized to zero. So that's why I'm doing this. Now I go for for every x in my string and I'm going to reverse it right here. So colon colon minus one makes it reversed. Uh, so I'm reversing my string. I'm checking if my x is a opening bracket. If it's an opening bracket, then the same thing left to the plus equal to one is my right would be plus equal to one. Here I check if my left is equal to my right. If it's true, then I'm going to update my max length. So my max length would be max of max length, max length uh, or my left plus right. Okay. L, L if uh, my left is greater than right, if my left is greater than right, that means I have more uh, opening brackets than my closing brackets. That's the time when you reset it. 
so left plus right equal to zero in the end when everything is done when you have traversed it from both sides you return max length let's try and see if we can run this code yeah it's except uh, it's running so let me submit it okay so it's submitted uh, let's talk about the space and time complexity of this problem so uh, if you look at this uh, you are traversing through the entire string just once so that makes and uh, so here it's one time and then the other time is here so it's basically you know uh, n plus n which is 2n and we actually discard constant uh, when we took uh, time complexity so the time complexity of this uh, problem would be o of n when you talk about the space complexity space complexity is going to be constant because we are using just right left and max max length which is a which is storing a single integer at a time it's not scaling so that makes my space complexity as o of one so i hope this uh, explanation was helpful and if you like my videos give it a thumbs up or comment below uh, it really helps my channel and if you like to see more videos like this please subscribe to my channel uh, there's a similar uh, there's the same explanation in hindi coming up later this week so stay tuned for it as well thank you bye